you going? On a train ride. Okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. Hi everybody and welcome to Surface Travels. This week we're going to ride the Strattenburg Railroad in Rock, Pennsylvania. So why don't you join us for the ride? This is train number 120, the London Place Limited, departing at 12 noon. Cafe of U.S. Cherry Hill, Cross Grove, Carpenters, Mileage Crossing, London Place Junction, and Paradise, Pennsylvania. Now folks, if you're not planning on traveling to any of those destinations, by golly, you've gotten yourself aboard the wrong train. The Strasburg is a very old and a very safe railroad, and we ask for your help and cooperation. And finally, just a few simple rules of safety, so that we may all enjoy our journey to Paradise here today. Just a few moments, we'll be underway for Paradise, Pennsylvania. All aboard, please. For over 175 years, this little railroad has been serving the community of Strasbourg without cessation. This is definitely not an enterprise which sprang up yesterday. Many generations of passengers have traveled the road to paradise before you folks boarded our coaches here today. We operate year-round hauling both freight and passengers here on board America's older short line. We're very happy to have you with us here today to enjoy old-fashioned steam railroading just as it was in your great-grandparents' day. Just to worry about these authentic coaches and what you're traveling on board today, each of the coaches on this train were constructed between the years of 1896 and 1913. They've all been very painstakingly restored right here in the Strasburg Company shops by our very own skilled craftsmen at a cost of anywhere from $150 to $400,000 each. Most of the coaches are finished in solid oak or mahogany. The light fixtures which are hanging above you were once kerosene or gas operated. They have all been electrified and they are used for the evening trips here on the line. The Lancaster County easier to see. Typical Lancaster County Amish farm. It's neat, clean, and very plain. Inside there are no carpets, no curtains, no radio, television, or telephone. No electric lights, you also won't find a little mobile in the barn for this farmer drives a horse and buggy. There are plenty of big, strong workhorses and willing hands to help with the hard work of farming. In addition to the dairy cattle, the cash crops consist of corn, wheat, rye, hay, oats, barley, soybeans, and the world famous Lancaster County broadleaf tobacco. The Amish are very peaceful and prosperous people. They contribute greatly to the agricultural economy of Lancaster County. Today. If you ever wondered just how fast your great great grandparents might have traveled, well folks, this is it. Definitely somewhere under 85 miles per hour. Wait. Now just after we pass the barn here on the right, you'll see a cornfield. However, have a look, that's still more near a cornfield. No, this is the home of the Amazing Maze Corn Fames. By the five acre cornfield with over two and a half miles of trails in the night On the hillside to the left and the right of the train, you'll see the grounds of the Cherry Crest Adventure Farm. It's a great place to spend the lazy fall afternoon. You can even take our train to Ross Pitney Grove, and it's a short walk from there. Now, unfortunately, they are closed on Sundays. Back with us later on in the month, you might consider stopping off here at the Cherry Crest Adventure Farm and the Amazing Maze Port Maze.
Although it moved our train today, it's old engine number 475. She was built back in 1906 by the Volvo Motor Weather Works for service on the Norfolk and Western Railroad. Together with her tender, she weighed in over 160 tons. She's one of the three operating steam locomotives that we have in our roster here today. We're just making this one nine mile round trip excursion today. She'll consume a thousand gallons of water and a half a ton of coal, all hand shoveled by the firemen. Our engineer and fireman today are Fred and Paul. And folks, in just a few minutes as they go by the train, I want you to stand up, jump up and down, wave yell, cheer, one one day for that engine crew, folks. Why? Because they love it. And if you don't, they might just leave us here in paradise. just uh, long enough you know to keep it interesting but you know not too long right a lot of nice scenery yeah and don't let it fool you that, that it only goes four and a half miles because it's you know it takes you know, 20 minutes or so to get that four and a half miles so it's not in a rush right yeah if you go by train you can't be in a hurry no don't think so Hey everybody, that concludes part one. Stay tuned for part two, where we go into the museum to see some of the trains that are on display. To make sure that you don't miss that, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, where we post pictures of our adventures. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you down the road.